Howdy. Welcome to my company, JTC Speakers, where we bring the music to you. Today, we will show you a step-by-step -step process on how to build a speaker using paper plates. <laughs> a speaker is basically an electromagnet and a cone. The electromagnet is made up of coil wire and a permanent magnet. When current is applied um, from the music source, it goes around the coil wire and creates a magnetic field and interacts with the permanent magnet, causing the vibrations um, in the cone, creating sound. So in this segment, we're going to be creating the voice coil, which is a, a coil of wire, pretty much an inductor. So here's a speaker we took apart, and the inside of it right here, you can see there's some wire going around it. And uh, we, So for my wire, it's a Radio Shack, got 26 gauge enamel coated magnet wire, so it's just insulated copper wire, and it works well. This is some magnets we got from uh, Radio Shack, and I'm going to wrap this wire around the diameter of this uh, permanent magnet to create the coil. But I need to cut some paper and wrap the paper around the magnet. And the reason I'm doing that is to create the, so that the diameter of the voice coil is larger than the diameter of the magnet so that it can move up and down and to create the vibrations of the cone, uh, which you will see here in a second. Hey, can you bring me the tape, please? Notice the thickness of this paper right here is uh, sticking out of the magnet right here. This is how the coil is going to go around this, and you can see that the coil is going to be thicker than this magnet so that it can move up and down. And I'm going to take out these inside cylinders out, and um, it'll create some good movement. Some Good, good, good vibrations. Putting some tape uh, face up around the coil so that the wire can stick to it. Then I'll hot glue it down, but you'll see. Now that I have it wrapped, I'm going to tie the both of the leads right here together so that it holds them together. It's just that cool. Now I'm going to hot glue the coil down to the paper. As I mentioned earlier, this is enamel coated wire, so that means it's, there's insulation over it. So to measure the resistance of this or to get this to work with the amplifier, you need to burn the insulation off. Okay, now that we have the voice coil, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the resistance. So as you can see, this is about a two and a half, two ohm speaker, which makes it compatible with our amplifier. This is the LM386 audio amplifier, which is pretty much gonna provide current to our speaker. Audio amplifier. Five volt regulator. Okay, we're jumping the five volt regulator to pin six of the IC chip which pretty much provides the voltage to power it. Okay, now we are grounding the five volt regulator to pin four, which is ground. <laughs> this is the um, mono audio jack we'll be using to um, provide signals to the amp. Um, we pretty much soldered already the red for positive, black for negative. Um, as you can see. 
So now we're going to connect the, um, the audio jack to the IC chip. Now we're connecting the output jumpers which go to the speaker. Now we're connecting the battery clip which will power the amplifier. So this next part we're going to create the like, cone and everything. So the bottom of the cone, we're gonna already super glued, or not super glued, hot glued a magnet to this plate. And uh, so now here's the coil and I'm going to you know, just take the magnets out. Put them down here. And uh, just take the inner tubes out of this. So now all that's left is the coil. And like I demonstrated earlier, it's bigger than the magnet, so that it can move up and down and create the vibrations. Now I'm going to hot glue the coil down to the center of the plate. This allows it to vibrate the plate while it's interacting with the magnet. Next, I'm going to make some suspensions to uh, allow the plates to you know, kind of squeeze together like an accordion or something. So I'm going to just use another paper plate for that. Cut a circle out, and then I'm going to fold it accordion style hot glue them down in between the plates and then we're gonna test the speaker. It's looking good to me. It's ready. What? Let's test this puppy. Okay. Thank you for watching a JTC production. Next time, cloning.